this really opened my mind up uh, to thinking about what is natural and what is not considered natural and what the uh, actual effects of man-made practices and cultural practices have on the land and seeing these stark images and these contrasts I thought were were pretty riveting um the dichotomy of these two vibrating off of one another throughout the piece with um shared messages from some really interesting folks in the field and and seeing this these found images and footage I thought was excellent to to kind of drive home these ideas made me really step back and evaluate what I deem a natural environment and trying to envision the land before colonization, where even in Toronto, uh, some of the main portage routes and trade routes were are down like Bay Street. And you can see those, those river walks uh, marked throughout the city. So it was a really nice point to, to bring it home. But I thought this was really well curated, great pacing, and a really nice rigor of thought. Natural versus cultural, good versus bad, modern environmentalism. Uh, it shows Providence Canyon uh, was created essentially from land abuse. This documentary short makes the claim that there is not much land that has been completely untouched from the European settlements. This puts land into perspective to give you the expanding thought of what was this land before this? What was the land before the land? Uh, what led to this area of conservation? And it really dives into the environmental transitions of the 20th century. Man-made features of land, what is considered natural land, what is considered man-made, and what the environment environmental impact is of both of these. Um, I think it was a really interesting look at something that not many people think about, but it also um, invites the viewer to not only think about this more when they're viewing uh, certain man-made, um, you know, environmental features, but think about the impact when you're, um, you know, possibly if you're a land developer watching this, um, or if, you know, as simple as, you know, creating your own backyard pond or something like that. I think it's a really interesting look to the impact of these man-made uh, natural features as well as, um, you know, considering what all could have been if we didn't do these things. It was a really interesting piece. The information's laid out really, really well. And it does a great job of calling the viewer to action to be more receptive of these things um, in their own lives. Really eye-opening to the fact that many of our geographical landmarks and landscapes here in the U.S. and probably abroad were actually man-made and haven't been around for all that long. Um, they have some great comparison shots of this um, Providence Canyon in the 1900s and then today and how much has changed and been affected by um, humans. Um, it was just interesting to see how these canyons and lakes um that we value so much as natural landscapes have so much man-made history behind them um and just you know they brought attention to the fact that all of these lakes are actually unmarked graves and are covering the these sections of land where people had houses and homes and you know businesses and graveyards that we just don't talk about um so you know, having museums or something set up in memory of this and to teach people about this history would be really cool. To kind of take a deep look at the history of a place where people at one point had very conflicting ideas about what happened there, about if it was truly something that was nature that, that appeared as a part of the natural progression of erosion and, you know, the ecosystem of the habitat or if it was something that was input and had more like man-made characteristics of it and to have such opposite ideas like that were truly believed about what the history of this place was is such an interesting concept i think as humans we like to assume that like we know what is nature and what is man-made and that like we just can blindly point them out no matter what and this is one of those things that proves that like we just had no idea. Like at least some people were completely 
blind to the fact that as history ended up proving, they have pictures that that isn't what happened. It was a hundred percent due to like man's influence. And then it would, the area was left alone for so long that the question got brought up again of what was this? Like, was this all nature? Was this man, you know, inter did man interfere with this? And I think in a lot of, like in a sense that almost like gives people hope that no matter what we've done to the land, it can get back to a place of such pure, beautiful nature. I learned a lot of things I didn't know about my home before. It was interesting to know about, uh, you know, the the discussion between what was natural and what was, you know, man-made. You know, it, it was interesting what the one guy said about important the importance of landscape literacy and being able to recognize these things and uh yeah it just gave me a lot to think about a lot to think about it's, it's very interesting that this the, just this, the science that was presented here but uh, the photography was wonderful um this the use of scenery is absolutely beautiful i love seeing the old vintage photos of um you know the photographers from the mid 20th century and whatnot um that was beautiful and, and wonderful to see um and uh, everything about this, it just made sense. It was laid out very well, scripted well, and interviews were terrific. Um, you know, just, uh, I, and I really loved how everything was done in voiceover and the, the visuals really kind of did most of the storytelling. They speak about deforestation for cotton fields and railroad networks and the loss of waters like Carter's Lake. The man-made changes to the landscape for mining or dams. And they, it is quite informative and visually very appealing, particularly the archive of old pictures and maps. It's just astounding to see the different uh, uh, landscape we had before, a few years ago, before industrialization and all that. And it was just quite interesting. I, I had a great time learning about this region.